Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing a process video of these really cute shaker tags for my not too shabby design team project. If you do head over to make a purchase at the shop, you can use my coupon code CRAFTYGIRL to save 10% on your purchase. I will link all the products for you below so it's really easy to find. So for my project today, I made these really cute little thank you shaker tags and I just think they turned out so sweet. They are shaky and I'm going to hold each of them up so you can see all the little colors. This is the little yellow one and it is just so stinking cute with all that little glittery in there. Here is the green one and I just love how shaky these are. Here's the orange one. This one has little hearts in there. And then here is the blue one, and this has some confetti and little blue stars. So I do have a process video sharing how I made these. And first I'll start out by showing you the products I used, and then I will get right into the process video. So to start out, I used this Lawn Fawn stamp set, and it is called Love Letters. I used this little bird, and also this little envelope here, and then I stamped the thank you sentiment there. For the shaker tag die, I use this MFT Tag Builder Blueprints 5 die, and this is in stock in the shop, and I just love this die so much. This is probably my favorite tag die. Then I use this MFT paper. It is the Painted Prints Citrus 6x6 paper pad. I love all these cute, kind of like citrusy colors. I use this Doodlebug Twine. This was the fall assortment set. I also use this Lawn Fawn Jet Black ink. I've been loving this ink so much. It is really nice and crisp for stamping and I've been loving it for my Copic coloring. These are just some American Craft ribbons that I used. I actually used all the blue ones so I just have the other colors there to show. Then I use these little confetti or like glittery bits sequins that I got at Michael's and one of them is just all little shapes. This has like hearts, stars, that kind of thing in there. And then this one just has a ton of little tiny confetti pieces. They are so sparkly. I love those so much. You could also use sequins, but I really liked using these little confetti bits. So I'm going to get started now with the process video. First off, I'm going to use this Love Letters stamp set and stamp out these little cuties. So I'm going to use that jet black ink and just stamp out four of these little chicks. And then I'm going to stamp out four of those little envelopes. And this is so cute how the little letter is peeking out. And then you can add a sentiment on it. And this stamp set came with a ton of different sentiments you could choose from. I chose to use the thank you one. So I'm just adding that on all of them. And then I decided that I wanted something up in the right corner. So I just looked on this stamp set and there was a little heart. So I added that on each of the corners. And I thought that'd be a cute way to add an extra pop of color on each of the tags. Now I'm gonna start with my Copic coloring and I already have my papers picked out and so that is how I chose my colors. That's usually how I do my card making and other paper crafts that I do. I pick out my papers first and then that helps me to choose what colors to do my Copic coloring with. So I've picked out my Copic colors and I will put the link, um, or excuse me, I will put the caps on screen. So I used Y35, Y32, And then I just used YR07 for the noses and then YR04. And then I'm going to color in the little envelopes. So for the first little envelope, sorry, I missed that first cap when I was doing the bird, but it's Y38. And I'm just adding some shading to give it a little bit of dimension. Then I took C0 and I just put that on the outside of that letter there just to give it a little bit of shading as well. I used Y35 and then blended that out with Y32. And this is my favorite yellow combo of Copic markers. Now I'm gonna color in that little heart and I used RV14 and RV11 and I just added that on all of them. It's a really nice pink combo. Again, with the C0, I'm just adding some shading to that little note. Then I'm going to do the little bluebird. So I use B05, B02, and then B00 and blend that all out. 
and then I'm going to do the same thing with those same colors for the letter. I actually saw um, how Kelly Marie Alvarez on the Lawn Fawn channel colored up these little super cute little chicks and envelopes. And I do have all the new Lawn Fawn release videos in a playlist on my channel. So if you wanna see other ways to use the stamp set, I will have those linked in my playlist. And I tried to make sure that I used all the products from the new release so I can add them to the playlist. I have a few left to go, but I have used both of the stamp sets now so far. So if you are interested in seeing that, it is linked in my playlist. So I colored up that little green chick. I used YG06 and the same colors I'm using for the envelope. YG03 and then YG00. And then blending that all out. And I just love how it looks so shaded. Then I'm gonna do the little orange bird and it is the same color I used the beak but it's totally okay. So I used YR07, YR04, and because I have the lighter shade around the nose, it's totally fine because I didn't use that on the little beaks. So this is YR02. And I'm just blending that all out. And they look so cute. And this is a really great stamp set for a ton of occasions, but these were really easy stamped images to color up. Then I took my white jelly pen and I'm just putting three little white dots on their cheeks. And now I'm going to fussy cut these babies out. These do come with coordinating dies, but I really enjoy fussy cutting, so most of the stamps that I purchase, I don't get the coordinating dies. So I'm just cutting out all the little envelopes. They were quite easy to cut out and then just trimmed out the little birds. And I was trying to decide if I was gonna mix and match the birds, but I think I like the coordinating bird with the coordinating envelope. Then I'm gonna show you how to use this tag builder die with the different papers. So I have four polka dot papers and then four stripes and coordinating colors. So I'm gonna start with these little polka dot paper and the first little tag. And I'm just kind of setting on there how my images will go and I do want the polka dots to be the outside part of the tag. So as you see, that little middle piece comes out which we won't be using, but um, we will be using that other part of the tag there. Now I'm going to cut out using the stripe paper and I want the, the um, stripes to go horizontally. And then I'm gonna cut that stripe paper out again in blue, also in orange, and then the green as well. So I have all four of my backs and now I'm gonna use the rest of the polka dot papers to do um, the top layer part. So I'm just doing the orange polka dot and again, we won't need that middle piece there. And I don't have one of those little like piercer tools for my die cuts. I just use a little pencil and poke it out and then I just erase the little bit that I did on there. I'm gonna need to get one of those. Now I'm just doing the little green one and a blue one. And then I'm going to go back to the little die cuts and I'm gonna take that little top piece and use all of the stripe paper again so that that piece can be on top. And you'll see in a minute, I'm going to show it on the tag there so you can see. And it just adds a little bit of something something on the top there. Now I'm just gonna cut those out in the rest of the colors. So I'm gonna use the green here. And I made sure to put it horizontally again so that all the stripes go the same way. and then just cutting out that last blue one. So I've got all of those little pieces and now I'm gonna cut out the foam pieces. I'm cutting them out using that piece so that the middle is not cut out and then we have that outside part of the foam. I'm gonna use two of those for each tag so I need to cut out eight of these. I'm gonna layer two each so that you get a nice bit of dimension and that way you can add in the little sequins. So I sped this part up quite fast just so I can get through cutting all of these. You'll need eight in total if you're making the four shaker tags as I am in the video. You could use one, but personally, I really like to get a good shake with my shaker tags. And so the more dimension you give it, the better it's going to shake. Now, this is a little trick that I do. This is just cellophane wrap that I got at my dollar store. People use these to wrap gift bags or just to wrap like flower packages, that kind of thing. And this is what I use for the clear acetate part of my shaker tags. So I'm just gonna trim some of this off and die cut out the top piece so that we don't lose any of our shaker bits. So using the tag that is the full tag with no cutouts on it, 
which I show right there. I'm gonna cut out four of these. So we need one for each of our little tags. And I only show cutting out one, but I do cut out four of those. And now we have all of our bits. This is always my favorite part when I set it all out. So we won't need those foam pieces or those other um, polka dot pieces that were left over. We could save those for another project. So I'm gonna get started by adhering the foam bits first. So I'm just moving everything aside and I'm going to put two foam pieces together and then it's gonna go on there like that to make some dimension. So let's get started with this. I'm going to use my ATG gun and it is important to have good adhesive when you're making shaker tags because you don't want any of those little bits to fall out. So I'm just adhering the first foam tag to the other one and then adding some more adhesive and I just kind of like push all the little pieces on so that they're not um, falling off the side, the little adhesive there. And you can put a little message on the back if you want. That part is gonna be white. So now I'm just doing that with all of them. So again, just making sure that all of the adhesive is um, nice and tucked in there. You could use different types of glue, but this is just my favorite way to do it. So all three of these or all four of these are all the same. So again, you could use one foam. You don't need to use two, but I do prefer to use two foam pieces so that you get a really nice shaker because there's room in there for those little sequins to really shake about, especially if you're gonna use like actual circle sequins because they can be a little bit larger. It's important to add that little bit of extra dimension. And you could use foam in the coordinating colors, but to be honest, I only had yellow foam left. I need to get some more, and I thought the yellow looked fine anyways, so all of these have yellow foam. I think you can also get the foam that it comes and it's adhesive. I'm gonna have to invest in some of those because that would save a lot of work not having to add adhesive to all of them, so if you can find them adhesive, that would actually be better. So now I have all my shaker bits, and I'm going to attach the little acrylic or sorry not acrylic the little like cello bag thing onto the front of the tag and you could use old packaging that you have in your stash it's a great way to use up extra bits without throwing them in the garbage so I'm just adding adhesive there and adding it onto the little sheet there and I'm adding on that little tag piece at the top it just gives it a little bit of break up from all the polka dots And again, using that little packaging. So I have those two. Now I'm just doing the little polka dot green one. And then the green one's done and the last one here. And it can be quite a process making these, but if you make a whole bunch at once, it's not so bad if you make like a little assembly line and put them all together. So there is my little last one. And I did have a little bit that um, comes over the edge on this one. So I just took my little sewing scissors there and trimmed that part off. Now is the fun part to add the little shaky sequins. So I'm gonna use these and they're again from Michaels. They're awesome. You can just open it to the little section. So I'm putting coordinating colors in. I put the yellow and the yellow, the green and the green and the orange and blue and their coordinating spots. Then I use these little shape ones. And I put a ton in there so it will shake about a lot. Now I'm just adding adhesive to the front of this little tag and I'm just attaching it on top of there. And make sure that there's no little sequins or confetti bits around the outside so that you can get a good um, firm placement of the top tag here. So there is the yellow one and it is so cute with all the little shaky bits in it. You could make these for all sorts of occasions. They're just so cute. Now I'm gonna do the little green one. And I'm just making sure that all of the adhesive is just in the right place. Since that ATG gun adhesive is like a quarter, I think, inch, it makes more adhesive than what I'm putting on there. So I'm just folding it in kind of. And then there's the orange one. And now the blue one. And then I'm just gonna adhere that on top. And we are done. That part of the shaker card, so cute. So, or the little shaker tags. 
So now I am going to put all of the cute little stamped images on top and I am putting the coordinating little chick and envelope on to the coordinating shaker tag. And I do put the chick so he's fully on and I had the envelope kind of popping off a little bit for some dimension. And they look so cute. And here is the little orange guy. I'm so curious to see which one is your favorite. Please leave a comment and let me know which one you guys like best. Do you like the blue, orange, green, or yellow? I'm so interested to know. I really like all of them. I think probably my favorite is the blue or the yellow. I really like how those ones pop, but I like all of them. Now I'm just taking the American Crafts ribbon that I have and I'm gonna cut all of them the same length. So luckily I had all these colors and the same pattern in my stash so I'm cutting out a little yellow, green, blue, and orange one. And this was actually the last of the blue so I used up a whole ribbon spool which is awesome. It feels so good when you get things used up out of your stash, especially to make cute little projects. And that is all the ribbon there. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the twine and cut off the coordinating little twine colors. And this little doodle bug set was perfect. It had all four of those little colors in it. I swear those doodle bug twines last forever. I've had them for like so long. I've only ever had the same ones. I've never run out of any of the colors. Now I'm going to put all these together and what I love about this tag die is the ribbon goes through like butter. It goes through so easily, no trouble at all. So what I found was if you tie two knots on here, so tie it once and then tie a knot, it allows it to have that cute little like scrunch of the ribbon and then I tie on the bow so it's nice and tight. And I'm just fussing with the bows. I always fuss with my bows because I always want them perfect. Then I just trimmed off the little tails there and oh my goodness, so much cuteness. Now I have the little green one. So again, just tying one little knot and then tying one more and putting the bow. I love how they all are coordinating colors. I think that looks so cute. It'd be fun if you mixed and matched them as well, but I had a lot of fun making them all match their coordinating color. So again, just tying it once and then tying a little knot and then the bow. There we go, and then the last one. And then I have all four of those done. Now I am just Oh, fussing a little bit more with that one. There is the little bow for that one and then just trimming off those little ends. Now I am going to take my little Spectrum Noir sparkle marker. I love these things so much and Jamie has these in the shop now and I'm just adding some glitter on these little envelopes so they are extra sparkly shaker tags. So that is my project for this week. I hope that you guys enjoy. Don't forget I will put the links below and please leave me comments. I love reading them and if you haven't subscribed, see you guys in the next video. Bye now.